So how do you break in a catching glove, pick up a puck off the ice, or grip your goalie stick? I'll tell you my three goalie glove tips coming up next. Voice over goalie. Hey, Wayne the VO Goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. So today, I wanted to talk about some tips for new goalies with regards to these guys. Goalie gloves. As a new goalie, sometimes you're not exactly sure how to do certain things when you're just starting out the position. So today I'm gonna to talk about how I break in my goalie glove, grip my stick with my blocker, and show you how I pick up a puck off the ice. But before we get into it, we've all been new goalies at one point in our career. If you're a longtime goalie, do you have a tip or trick that you wish someone told you when you first started playing? Let us all know in the comments below. Now disclosure, all of these tips are based on my own personal opinions. There are lots of different ways to do things, and I'm not saying that my way is the only way. So please take these tips with a grain of salt, but know that they've worked out for me so far. Goalie glove tip number one, how to break in a catching glove. Now a new goalie glove can be really stiff out of the box right when you get it. And there are lots of methods of breaking in gloves on the internet. Some include steaming them or pouring hot water into them, clamping them down in the closed position and then open position, unlacing and relacing the perimeter for a looser fit, and just springing extra money for a custom game-ready palm. But I'm going to show you the secret on how I break in a new goalie glove. Roll it. That's basically it. Anytime I have a free moment, I'm wearing my glove and opening and closing it. Now for me, this is the most natural break-in process. One, because my hand is always in the glove. So it's opening and closing based on the mechanics of my hand. And also I'm not creating any premature wear on the glove by doing things like smushing it underneath my sofa. Sometimes I will leave a new glove in the bathroom when I take a shower just to get some steam into the glove to loosen it up. But otherwise, it's just a lot of opening and closing. And sometimes stuff like this. Goalie glove tip number two, how to hold your stick with your blocker. Now this tip might seem pretty self-explanatory. Now we all know what it looks like when a blocker hand grabs a goalie stick. Looks like this. But what a lot of newer goalies don't realize is that there are different ways to grip your stick. Sometimes if you're a player who's transitioning to goal, you grip your stick like this because it's the way you've always held a stick. But I think what the majority of goalies do these days is to grip your stick with your index finger down the paddle. By doing this, it gives you a lot more control over the rotation of your stick in your hand, specifically because the majority of the time, we're only gripping the stick with one hand. Now, one of the downsides of running your index finger down the paddle of your stick is when you paddle down, sometimes the tip of your index finger can get pinched between the stick and the ice. So in my case, with my foam core sticks, I always cut a trigger grip to give me a little more control and protect my index finger. If you want to see how I cut a trigger grip, you can check out this video right here. And goalie glove tip number three, how to pick up a puck off the ice with your catching glove. Now this one seems like a totally unnecessary skill to have, but I'll tell you what, going that extra mile and picking the puck up for the ref at a faceoff always has the potential of paying off by getting calls to go your way. And I mean, come on, it's just like a nice thing to do. So let's take a look at how my glove covers a puck. Now one of the mistakes that new goalies make is they try to pick up the puck using their fingers. I mean, because that's naturally how you pick something up, right? But the problem is goalie gloves aren't designed to be able to pinch using your fingers that way. So it ends up looking like this. What I always do is slide my glove down to make sure that the puck is in the T portion of my glove. I know that my T has the tightest seal when it comes to being flush on the ice. So by having the puck in this area, when you go to close your glove, it really enables you to grip the puck and get it off the ice. Sometimes in the NHL, you see a goalie do a sweeping or scooping motion. And what they're really doing is making sure that no matter where the puck is under their glove, 
At the end of their motion, the puck will be in the T section, enabling them just to scoop it up. So those are my three goalie glove tips for new goalies. Got one of your own? Let us all know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>